Welcome back, my friends. I'm going to read along with the Bible. Actually, I'm going to listen along. And then I'm going to read this little final um, informational thing. Um, I'm using the New King James, the word for today. That's right. Okay. So, I'm going to set the speed, the playback speed, pretty high. So, hopefully... Yeah. All right. Now these are the records of Aaron and Moses, when the Lord spoke with Moses on Mount Sinai. And these are the names of the sons of Aaron, Nadab, the firstborn, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the anointed priests, whom he consecrated to minister as priests. Nadab and Abihu had died before the Lord when they offered profane fire before the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai, and they had no children. So Eleazar and Ithamar ministered as priests in the presence of Aaron, their father. And the Lord spoke to Moses, Bring the tribe of Levi near, and present them before Aaron the priest, that they may serve him. And they shall attend to his needs, and the needs of the whole congregation before the tabernacle of meeting, to do the work of the tabernacle. Also they shall attend to all the furnishings of the tabernacle of meeting, and to the needs of the children of Israel, to do the work of the tabernacle. And you shall give the Levites to Aaron and his sons. They are given entirely to him from among the children of Israel. So you shall appoint Aaron and his sons, and they shall attend to their priesthood. But the outsider who comes near shall be put to death. Now behold, I myself have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel, instead of every firstborn who opens the womb among the children of Israel. Therefore the Levites shall be mine, because all the firstborn are mine. On the day that I struck all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I sanctified to myself all the firstborn in Israel, both man and beast. They shall be mine. I am the Lord. Then the Lord spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai. Number the children of Levi by their father's houses, by their families. You shall number every male from a month old and above. So Moses numbered them according to the word of the Lord, as he was commanded. These were the sons of Levi by their names, Gershom, Kohath, and Merari. And these are the names of the sons of Gershom by their families, Libni and Shimei. And the sons of Kohath by their families, Amram, Isaiah, Hebron, and Uzziel. And the sons of Merari by their families, Malai and Mushai. These are the families of the Levites by their father's houses. From Gershom came the family of the Libnites and the family of the Shimites. These were the families of the Gershonites. Those who were numbered, according to the number of all the males from a month old and above, of those who were numbered, there were 7,500. The families of the Gershonites were to camp behind the tabernacle westward, and the leader of the father's house of the Gershonites was Eliasaph, the son of Leah. The duties of the children of Gershon in the tabernacle of meeting included the tabernacle, the tent with its covering, the screen for the door of the tabernacle of meeting, the screen for the door of the court, the hangings of the court which are around the tabernacle and the altar, and their cords, according to all the work relating to them. Okay, hold on. So when the final plague came upon Egypt, the Egyptians, the firstborn, were slain that night in Egypt because the blood was upon the doorpost. God had said, from now on, the firstborn is mine. They had to actually redeem the firstborn from the Lord. That's the way God always works. The first are His. Here, God says, instead of the firstborn, the whole tribe of Levi, Levi is mine. God had Moses divide the tribe of Levi into three fa major families. Gershon, Kohath and Merari. The family of Gershon dwelt west of the tabernacle. Immediately south was the family of Kohath. And the family of Merari was to the north. The right in front of the entrance to the east was Moses, Aaron, and his sons. The tribe of Levi camped immediately around the tabernacle. And then the twelve tribes that surrounded the camp dwelt farther out. Okay, but does this change later on? I don't know. Let's continue to read. From Kohath came the family of 
family of the Amorites, the family of the Uzzahites, the family of the Hebronites, and the family of the Azaelites. These were the families of the Kohathites. According to the number of all the males, from a month old and above, there were 8,600 keeping charge of the sanctuary. The families of the children of Kohath were to camp on the south side of the tabernacle. And the leader of the father's house of the families of the Kohathites was Elizaphon, the son of Aziel. Their duty included the ark, the table, the lampstand, the altars, the utensils of the sanctuary with which they ministered, the screen, and all the work relating to them. And Eliezer, the son of Aaron, the priest, was to be chief over the leaders of the Levites, with oversight of those who kept charge of the sanctuary. From Merari came the family of the Melites, and the family of the Mushites. These were the families of Merari, and those who were numbered, according to the number of all the males from a month old and above, were 6,200. The leader of the father's house of the families of Merari was Zuliah, the son of Adiah. These were to camp on the north side of the tabernacle. And the appointed duty of the children of Merari included the boards of the tabernacle, its bars, its pillars, its sockets, its utensils, all the work relating to them, and the pillars of the court all around with their sockets, their pegs, and their cords. Moreover, those who were to camp before the tabernacle on the east, before the tabernacle of meeting, were Moses, Aaron, and his sons, keeping charge of the sanctuary to meet the needs of the children of Israel. But the outsider who came near was to be put to death. All who were numbered of the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron numbered at the commandment of the Lord, and their families, all the males from a month old and above, were twenty-two thousand. Then the Lord said to Moses, Number all the firstborn males of the children of Israel from a month old and above, and take the number of their names. And you shall take the Levites for me, I am the Lord, instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel and the livestock of the Levites, instead of all the firstborn among the livestock of the children of Israel. So Moses numbered all the firstborn among the children of Israel, as the Lord commanded him. And all the firstborn males, according to the number of names from a month old and above, of those who were numbered of them, were 22,273. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, Take the Levites, instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel, and the livestock of the Levites, instead of their livestock. The Levites shall be mine. I am the Lord, and for the redemption of the 273 of the firstborn of the children of Israel, who are more than the number of the Levites, you shall take five shekels for each one individually. You shall take them in the currency of the shekel of the sanctuary, the shekel of twenty heroes, and you shall give the money with which the excess number of them is redeemed to Aaron and his sons. So Moses took the redemption money from those who were over and above, those who were redeemed by the Levites. On the firstborn of the children of Israel, he took the money, 1,365 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. And Moses gave the... Ah, hold on. There we go. <laughs> the redemption money for Aaron and his sons according to the word of the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. Then the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, Take a census of the sons of Kohath from among the children of Levi, by their families, by their father's house, from thirty years old and above, even to fifty years old, all who enter the service to do the work in the tabernacle of meeting. This is the service of the sons of Kohath in the tabernacle of meeting, relating to the most holy things. When the camp prepares to journey, Aaron and his sons shall come, and they shall take down the covering veil and cover the ark of the testimony with it. Then they shall put on it a covering of badger skins, and spread over that a cloth entirely of blue, and they shall insert its cords. On the table of showbread, they shall spread a blue cloth, and put on it the dishes, the pans, the bowls, and the pitchers for pouring, and the showbread shall be on it. They shall spread over them a scarlet cloth, and cover the same with a covering of badger skins, and they shall insert its poles. And they shall take a blue cloth, and cover the lampstand of the light, with its lamps, its wick trimmers, its trays, and all its oil vessels with which they service it. Then they shall put it with all its utensils in a covering of badger skins, and put it on a carrying beam. Over the golden altar they shall spread a blue cloth, and cover it with a covering of badger skins, and they shall insert its poles. Then they shall take all the utensils of service with which they minister in the sanctuary, put them in a blue cloth, cover them with a covering of badger skins, and put them on a carrying beam. Also they shall take away the ashes from the altar, 
and spread a purple cloth over it. They shall put on it all its implements with which they minister there, the firepans, the forks, the shovels, the basins, and all the utensils of the altar. And they shall spread on it a covering of pleasure skins, and insert its poles. And when Aaron and his sons have finished covering the sanctuary, and all the furnishings of the sanctuary, when the camp is set to go, then the sons of Kohath shall come to carry them. But they shall not touch any holy thing, lest they die. These are the things in the tabernacle of meeting, which the sons of Kohath are to carry. The appointed duty of Eliezer, the son of Aaron the priest, is the oil for the light, the sweet incense, the daily grain offering, the anointing oil, the oversight of all the time. Sorry. Uh, notice this phrase. They shall, um, it says, when Aaron and his sons finish the covering of the sanctuary and all the furnishings thereof, or the furnishings of the sanctuary, when the camp is set to go, then the sons of Kohath shall come to carry them, but they shall not touch any holy thing lest they die. Wow. This reminds me of Uzzah, who touched the Ark of the Covenant. Wow. Okay. Of all that is in it, with the sanctuary and its functions. Do not cut off the tribe of the families of the Kohathites from among the Levites, but do this in regard to them, that they may live and not die when they approach the most holy things. Aaron and his sons shall go in and appoint each of them to his service and his task, but they shall not go in to watch while the holy things are being covered, lest they die. And the Lord spoke to Moses. Also take a census of the sons of Gershom, by their father's house and by their families. From thirty years old and above, even to fifty years old, you shall number them, all who enter to perform the service, to do the work in the tabernacle of meeting. This is the service of the families of the Gershonites, in serving and carrying. They shall carry the curtains of the tabernacle, and the tabernacle of meeting with its covering, the covering of badger skins that is on it, the screen for the door of the tabernacle of meeting, the screen for the door of the gate of the court, the hangings of the court which are around the tabernacle and altar and their cords, all the furnishings for their service, and all that is made for these things, so shall they serve. Aaron and his sons shall assign all the service of the sons of the Gershonites, all their tasks and all their service. And you shall appoint to them all their tasks as their duty. This is the service of the families of the sons of Gershon in the tabernacle of meeting. And their duties shall be under the authority of Ithamar, the son of Aaron the priest. As for the sons of Mirenai, you shall number them by their families and by their father's house. From thirty years old and above, even to fifty years old, you shall number them, everyone who enters the service, to do the work of the tabernacle of meeting. And this is what they must carry as all their service for the tabernacle of meeting. The boards of the tabernacle, its bars, its pillars, its sockets, and the pillars around the court with their sockets, pegs, and cords, with all their furnishings and all their service. And you shall assign to each man by name the items he must carry. This is the service of the families of the sons of Mirai, as all their service for the tabernacle of meeting, under the authority of Ithamar, the son of Aaron, the priest. And Moses and Aaron, and the leaders of the congregation, numbered the sons of the Kohathites, by their families and by their father's house, from thirty years old and above, even to fifty years old, everyone who entered the service for work in the tabernacle of meeting. And those who were numbered by their families were two thousand seven hundred and fifty. These were the ones who were numbered of the families of the Kohathites. All who might serve in the tabernacle of meeting, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the commandment of the Lord by the hand of Moses. And those who were numbered of the sons of Gershon, by their families and by their father's house, from thirty years old and above, even to fifty years old, everyone who entered the service for work in the tabernacle of meeting, those who were numbered by their families, by their father's house, were two thousand six hundred and thirty. These are the ones who were numbered of the families of the sons of Gershon, of all who might serve in the tabernacle of meeting whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the commandment of the Lord. Those of the families of the sons of Mirai, who were numbered by their families, by their father's house, from thirty years old and above, even to fifty years old, everyone went to the service for work in the tabernacle of meeting. Those who were numbered by their families were three thousand two hundred. These are the ones who were numbered of the families of the sons of Mirai, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the word of the Lord by the hand of Moses. All who were numbered of the Levites, whom Moses, Aaron, and the leaders of Israel numbered by their families and by their fathers.